Hey guys, this week I'm going to show you how to throw a knife and catch it. Over the weekend, I watched Mummy Returns on ITV and this scene came up. This is something that is shown a lot in TV and films, not just in The Mummy. So let's get started. First, you'll need to film your subject throwing the knives. As you throw, you want to make sure you pan quickly in the direction of the knife as if you're following it. As I was working on my own, I was unable to do this. Make sure you do this safely and obviously no one stands in the way of the knife. Also, in true Blue Peter style, make sure an adult is present to help. I placed my green screen to catch the knife so that it wouldn't break anything. Once you have this shot, you move on to your second shot. In this shot, I'm going to be catching the knife. So I'm already going to be holding the knife in my hand. From here, I will move my hand quickly and to make it seem like I caught the knife. Placing these two shots in Premiere Pro next to each other already looks like I've caught the knife and it works pretty well. Most shots in film and TV are done this way. However, to add some more variations, I'm going to use some green screen. Here, I stuck the knife on a mic stand and twisted it. However, after realizing that I was rotating it the wrong way, I placed the green screen on the table with glass on top of it and span the knife in the right direction. Filming it live, rather than using a mask and a frame hold, will add perspective that you need, that you can't add in post-production perfectly. Let's jump back into Premiere Pro. Place the shot of you catching the knife on the bottom line. Place the shot that you filmed the knife on the green screen on top of this. Draw a mask around the knife, making sure everything from the surroundings is gone, including my hand in this. Go to the effects control panel and search for the ultra key and key out the green. Finally, we're going to animate the knife. It's already rotated, so we don't have to do so much. Select the position and place the knife outside of the frame and select the stopwatch button. Move to the end of the clip, move the knife as close as you can to the hand, just before it cuts away. Over time, you want the scale of the knife to go down as if it was moving within the camera. It'll take you a couple of readjustments to make it look natural. The only thing left is to add some fake camera motion. Here, I've just keyframed the camera moving to the left or right slightly, along with moving the rotation slightly. I've highlighted a couple of the frames and easy in and easy outed them to make a smoother transition. And you're done. Thank you so much for the support and watching, guys. Enjoy the new year. Um, as always, hit the like button and the subscribe button, and I'll see you next year.